3D printing. It's amazing what has gone on in this industry in the last couple of years. A lot of people call it adaptive printing. I have Jeff Beam with Form Labs next to me here. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So, tell me about you know some of the advances you've seen in the last couple of years uh, in 3D printing. We actually had three new things that we announced yesterday. Of course. So um, <laughs> that's what we do here at CES. That's what we do. So we have a new version of our desktop, our standard printer called okay. the Form 3 Plus that is much faster and also has, um, so when you print with SLA, you get little support marks where yep. sometimes there may be supports that are holding the right, part up. Right. And with the new version of our printer, they are tear away supports that, are, that do not leave any surface I mark. See. And so it's much easier. Okay. There is a new um, post-processing thing called our Build Platform 2 that once this part is done, you actually just squeeze the handles and the parts just fall right off of the build platform, making it much easier to, to get these parts. And then the third thing we introduced was an ESD safe resin, electrostatic discharge. So electrostatic can cause a lot of problems if you're in electronics right. manufacturing. Right. And so this allows you to create parts that, that, that dissipate electrostatic um, charges so that they're safe for you know, electronics enclosures or chips or, or things like that. Formlabs uses a type of 3D printing called stereolithography that uses a laser to cure a, uh, a photopolymer resin um, that creates an incredible array of, of, of products out of it. Now you brought some samples I and I think these are interesting, so just go ahead and talk about each of these. Yeah, I did. This is the most typical sort of use case for 3D printing, where OXO, they use us for rapid prototyping. So if you take that, that's actually two different materials, and that they can rapidly prototype and iterate and sort of test out, okay, do I like this design? Does it feel good? Does it work that's well? That's amazing. I'll give two more examples. Okay. One that I have in my hand and one that you haven't realized yet. One that I have in my hand is this is actually electroplated. So this is printed in one of our standard materials, okay. but it is then uses a process so, called so electroplating, like just like yeah, that, yep. but then it's electroplated and you end up with a metal-like part, but printed at a fraction of the cost of metal 3D printing. And so you, it's a much easier to print. Very so cool. the last example is oh. these shoes, and it's gonna be hard <laughs> to see, can I use your yeah, shoulder you here for Absolutely. a second? This is actually directly printed on our printers, and it's a special type of resin that we made with them called Rebound that provides really good, you know, I use these for running, and it provides really good rebound. Um, it's extremely uh, tear resistant. I've been wearing these now solid for a year and a half, and they look great. And if we want to find out more information online? If you want to find out more information, go to formlabs.com. All right, Jeff, it's been a pleasure. Likewise. This is your guru of geek, Marlo Anderson, coming to you from CES 2022.